mobile players and viewers. Hey, this is your boy Ax again. Coming with another video about the inconsistencies and just the overall iffiness about the Coliseum in Lost Mobile. And I'm sure that this is not simply related or exclusive to the Coliseum. I'm sure the, the same chance and chanciness the same iffiness applies to whether you're attacking a castle or wonders, all those things. So, we all have played in the in the Coliseum if you're a large mobile player or some other game gamer playing another game that has to do with strategy like large mobile. Well, a lot of times we pick our hero selection on who we choose to fight based off their uh, heroes level, whether they're max, whether they're maxed out 60 like all of these are or whether they are um, purple or gold ranked or whether they're blue and uh, a lot of times we, 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 we set up a lineup we, we select our heroes to uh, based off our opponents you know uh, strengths and weaknesses so a lot of times that is not the case at all. A lot of times in the Coliseum is 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 so much that it's just based off chance. I've had players that I knew did not have a better lineup. The heroes were, were not uh, all gold or even purple. Uh, they just I did, they just were the inferior heroes, but yet lose in the Coliseum. Why is this important? Because well. Actually, you know, you only get a certain amount of Coliseum entries per day, uh, even if you get, you know, additional entries by familiars or other means. But those who don't have additional entries, but they want to stay in the top 10, top 100, they have to spend gems for that. And we know that gems don't come easy. Gems can be purchased with, you know, by packs or, you know, just through gal gifts or uh, other means. But the point of the matter is that gems are important and what is the problem IGG if people are spending to buy gems but yet when they use them thinking that they're selecting you know that they're, that they're using the gems to get the best out of their gems such as in the Coliseum but the Coliseum is not based off strategy, it's based more off chance, then um, that's kind of, in a sense, being defrauded and cheated. Because you spend your gems in the Coliseum, or you use your, uh, the number of times that you have in the Coliseum, which is five or whatever, and it's not based off your strategy, it's just based off chance. And we're going to take a look at what I mean by this. I've done a video on this before, and I know I'm not the only one that experiences this consistently. But I hate that this happens. Uh, I hate to lose when uh, I should have won because I had the better, I had the better heroes, I had the paid heroes, or I had the golden heroes. So let's get into the video and let's just show. Let's show again. Just how inconsistent it is when you try to uh, select based off hero level, hero max level, whether they're gold or purple, and things like that. So, here we go. The first one that I challenged, uh, again, uh, was this guy here at the bottom of, your, of, the, of the screen here. This guy right here. And we're going to look at this video here, how I lost the first one. A little value. There's his heroes at the back of the screen here, to your right, and mine's over on this side. All right. Donna heals. Demon Slayer goes in. Doll goes up. Okay.
as you can clearly see I have priestess down, Madonna down, and uh, Demon Slayer's out. And there goes the other one. Here we go again. Rose Knight will be out in a second as well. So, he has four heroes left. Four heroes. Now, let's look at the rematch. I'm going to use the same on the lineup because I know he had an inferior selection of heroes uh, than I did. Same, it's the same lineup. Both of us have the same lineup. Here we go again. Okay, this time his man is down. As you can see right now, he is another man is down. Just cut right through him on that one. So why is it that I lost the first one when I got all five standing on the second one? Same exact, just a rematch. Same exact hero selection. Uh, nothing changed whatsoever. So why is it that he has four heroes left after the first? battle the rematch I got five heroes left so it's like this is so inconsistent here we go another one another challenger I challenge that you see his hero selection at the bottom right side of your screen I have the same selection uh, that I use that I fought the last time with <laughs> okay immediately my demon slayer is out of there Okay, Rose Knight's gone. Priestess is gone. Okay. And there she goes. She'll be out in just a second there. Okay. So, I'm not going to change my lineup. I'm not going to change anything. My opponent's not changing anything, and we're going to do number two right here. Second from the bottom. There's this lineup. Get us there down again. And the Rose Knight went out second last time. Priestess and Rose Knight's gone again. A healing got done that time as well as another one. Go to the back there. Donna left by herself standing again. Okay. Almost played out the same way it did the first time. So the first and second time pretty much consistent for on his behalf. Let's go with the third time. Same exact line up again no changes whatsoever no changes on my part no my, no changes whatsoever on my opponent's part we have both have the same heroes again same lineup no difference no difference in strategy no difference in hero selection no difference in uh, anything there's no difference whatsoever so realistically and practically you would think that we're going to continually get the same consistent outcome He's going to continue to beat my lineup and my selected heroes. But that is not going to be the case. And I think that for a pay-to-play player like myself and for those out there who are pay-to-play, we can't expect... It's not to our benefit to spend our money on a game in which we pay to play but whether or not we win is not based off our strategy it's not based off much of what we do but it's basically based off just chance 
as you can see right there, my Rose Knight is still standing, whereas in first and second battle, uh, Rose Knight died off immediately. So, right now there's a little bit of nuance there, a little bit of variation there, uh, compared to the first two times. So we're kind of standing our ground a little bit. But this is the, this is the inconsistency we're talking about. I mean, it's, it's just illogical because there's no changes. There's no changes in his lineup, in his army, in his uh, constellations. No change. So this time, I lose by default because of time. He only has three heroes left. Okay, so now we're gonna do battle number four. One, two, three, there's number four. Here's battle number four here. First two times, uh, Demon Slayer was slayed immediately, then Priestess and Rose Knight was slayed together. Uh, okay, Priestess gets the strike now. There goes Rose Knight. Now it's Priestess that's left, where at the, in battle number three, Rose Knight was left. So now we have Priestess, Priestess fighting. She shot down there, and of course, uh, there goes Prima Donna. Right, so that's battle number four. So, here we go with battle number five. One, two, three, four. Here's number five. Now, I asked you a question, large mobile players. If you would comment in the comments below, or if you got an understanding, if you know how this thing works, let's put it in the comments. Let's enlighten, you know, our fellow players. But how honestly should this work? Demon Slayer taken out again. Priestess gone. Rose Knight was able to get a healing like she did in Battle Number Three. Pause her right there. She's gone. Okay, there's a healing. Right. Okay. She was hammered there. So, with no changes in lineup, no changes in gear, no changes in anything. Everything that has to do with statistics, everything that has to do with probability, everything that has to do with uh, hero max level, hero uh, ranking, uh, none of that stuff has changed. So I spend a few gems and I go to play another one. Just, to, just to keep playing. Here's round number six. Let's see how this goes. Round number six. After losing five in a row, uh oh, Priestesses gets the first strike out. My Demon Slayer is still alive. Tracker's down. Healing has been initiated. Doll is thrown. Just about to get another one off. Mm -hmm. Another healing. Additional healing. Doll is down. Only one left. Is Rolls Knight on the defenders are 
my pony sign. Five heroes left standing. So tell me what to make of that. How does a person do that? No changes. Is there an explanation to this? What, what is the explanation to this? How can this be a game of strategy when you base your selection of heroes based off their uh, whether their range or cavalry or infantry based off your opponents you, 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 you select your heroes based let me give you an example we're going to choose somebody to fight here right quick and we're going to base our selection based off let's go with this guy right here he has uh, one, two, three gold one purple, one blue. So we're going to fight him. And I'm going to base my hero selection off him. Okay, so he has range, 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 infantry, cavalry. So, uh, I'm going to go with some infantry to get back there to his range immediately. I'm going to select a healer. Now, remember, he has a purple and a blue. Now, uh, for his infantry just coming in here, I want to have something that's kind of tough behind my line. So I'm going to pick one healer instead of two. Hopefully she'll be able to heal by the time he, Dark Demon Slayer, gets back there. So I need one more strong mm, player that can handle uh, the arrows and doll. And the, uh, let's see who we can use. How about we go with, for Demon Slayer, how about we go with a little bit that can use a con condition? How about that? Somebody that can. Maybe uh, she might get gunned down by the arrow, so I'm afraid of that. Probably be best to use this lady right here. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. Let's find out what happens here. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, I did one big major mistake. I apologize for that. I do need immunity. So let's do that again. Who was that? That was my mom, mom, Let's do that again. That was a big mistake. Let's see if we can find Mamo again. There he is. Hopefully, it doesn't change. Nope, it did change. Let's go back. Let's find Mamo again. Okay, buffing, buffing, buffing. There he is. I did a major mistake by uh, I can't have Demon Slayer as a as a lead. He'll just get chopped down like he did. Gotta have her to uh, be able to give immunity for their first blows to my players. So this is the lineup we're going to have to go with. Uh, I would have liked to use somebody with a condition. I could. I could take Demon Slayer out, but Demon Slayer is pretty effective. Our priestess against the doll and Dark Shadow. Or I think that I forgot what her name is. The arrows. But anyway, let's see what goes on here. Here we go. Okay. Okay, there you go. So there's my selected my selection of heroes. There's my healing that I needed. Captain Madonna is done. His healer is gone as well. Uh, Priestess is still working on the arrow lady. She shot her full blow. Neither one of us have healings, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, she's down. Mine's still up. Okay, still down. Both knights out of there, so we win that one. Now, did I win based off hero selection, or did I win just based off chance? That's the whole thing about this whole setup. It's not altogether based off strategy. It, it, there's so much iffiness, there's so much contingencies, there's so so much based off chance, there's just so much based off random winning. So here's another guy here, we're going to look at his lineup, he has two purples, one with con they able to put condition, you got the big guy, uh, Tracker, so for Tracker and him, there's no problem for uh, Dark uh, Demon Slayer and the other one to come in. So our only problem is, we shouldn't have any, let's get him. Because the big man can't take very many blows, as you know. Uh, Tracker's not going to do anything. He's over there with a healer. The best thing is for them to avoid going over there with uh, on that side. That's where Demon Slayer shouldn't be at. But his, 
that player is gone immediately. And you've never seen uh, her fall that fast either. This was a slaughter. One gets a blow off. That's a good, we know that's a done deal. Let's leave that one. Let's go to one more. Let's do one more battle here in the Coliseum. And let's try to pick a guy with a lot of might. It's a big might here. That's, of course, not on my side. I'm going to fight my own player in the Coliseum. So let's find out. Uh, let's go with this guy. He's a 27. He's a 27. Let's find somebody better and higher. Okay, Dark Pool. Let's use Dark Pool. Dark Pool has. A pretty good lineup, I guess. I don't want to use him. I want to use my own player. Okay, I just need one more. One more, one more, one more. Somebody in the 2800s, hopefully. 28,000, I mean. Let's get a. He's 28 following guy. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with. Uh, I'm just going to have to go with. Uh, I'm just going to have to go with a guy from my own clan. Oh. Deal. Okay, so he has a uh, purple, doll, everybody else's gold. I have one purple as well, everybody else's gold. Uh, my infantry is going to be pretty strong on his top right side. Uh, if they go to the left side with the uh, healer, they'll be very more effective. So, what beats this here? Hmm, can we beat it? I could throw in another healer for his Demon Slayer. And uh, let's see how this goes. Let's see what happens. This is our last battle. So we're just talking about the inconsistencies in the Coliseum. Okay, that's a good sign for Demon Slayer to be over there with her. Uh, here comes Rose Knight to assist. There's the healing. Good healing on my part, on my behalf of my heroes. Let's see what's going on this side as well. Versus Demon Spirit. Okay. Boom. Somebody's about to die on my side too. This one's over. There's the healing, but there's nobody left to fight. So, okay. So, here's the deal. He won. Do I play the same person again to see if we get the same outcome? Let's do it. Let's see what kind of outcome we get. Let's see if we get the same outcome. It seems to me he has the better selection of players. He rolls. Let's see if we get a different outcome. Good healing right there. Let's see what's going on over here. If he's going to be able to win or can they get some help over here. Uh, there's a healing, but Priestess is gone. Uh, there's nobody really to handle Demon Slayer here over here now. That's another good healing though. And we have another healing about to go on the way as well. He can just heal. Demon Slayer's out. Just a second. Demon Slayer's out. Uh, let's get him out of there. Demon Slayer's down. Can we get something on this side? Can we get this victory? Knight is about to go. So we win this one. So Right in the middle of what is the consistency? All right, Law Mobile. If y'all see what I'm saying, I'm out.